Well, having no agricultural background whatsoever, agri or, uh, FFA was a hard choice to choose. But my brother is the, actually the one that got me hooked on FFA. Him being two years older than me, he was in FFA for two years. He absolutely loved it. And so that got me thinking, my brother has nothing to do with agriculture, then why can't I? So when I first joined FFA, I was very nervous, a very nervous child. I mean, I love to talk, but I cannot stand up in front of people for long amounts of time and talk. And so being in F, my brother being in FFA and seeing what it has done for him, it kind of got me thinking, this could be for me. So what did you do to, what kind of things do you do in FFA? Well, first of all, my freshman year, I started off with range judging. That was the absolute first thing I had ever done. And we are from Can you explain range judging? Range judging itself is you go out out into a pasture and you identify plants, plants and flowers. And being no agricultural background, I kinda struggled in this event. But I love the outdoors and that got me that was the perfect opportunity for me to be outside and do what I love. And then after range judging, I went on to do the green hand quiz. I would really have loved to do the green, but I was gone the day that we went to the tried out for this. But well, the Green Hand Quiz is it's a bunch of questions of sort of about FFA, about the vice presidents of that year, and all sorts of stuff like that. My team got second overall, and I was, in the, I was a gold individual. This feeling that I got when I was standing up there for my first time to accept that award was, was crazy. And then I think that that competition right there is what we got hooked for life. Uh, I am an 11th grader right now, and this last year I had the opportunity to, be, to become the president of our FFA chapter. And being the president, it kind of made me want to become more of a leader within our community. And being president, it kind of motivated me to get out and to get the younger generations to show them what FFA has done for me, and to try and get them the same opportunities that I was given when I, when I became a freshman. What other events do you participate in now? Uh, the events I participated in this year was, first of all, egg sales. Egg sales, by far, is my favorite event because of the fact that doing egg sales kind of got me thinking that after high school, egg sales would be a great career choice for me to participate in. And because I'm not any background in agriculture, egg sales is the perfect competition for me. How so? Well, egg sales is something I would like to do because of the fact that crops, I'm not the brightest kid in the world. And with egg sales, you get to sort of build on your own situation. You get to pick the product that you'd like to sell. Like This is more defined around an actual career than per se life cycle crops. Because with egg sales, you get to pick your own product. And this is, like say I would, I would like to work for John Deere. I could go out and sell a John Deere product. You learn everything about this product, and memorize it, and you get to stand in front of two judges and sell. And selling is something I love to do. So as far as future, um, after high school, what are what are your considerations? Are you looking at sales or? Uh, some of the considerations, I have two considerations right now. It's kind of a ways off from agriculture, but I would like to become either a salesperson or I'd like to get a degree in engineering. Okay. And what, any particular thoughts about engineering or a little too early on that? Uh, engineering, the two things that I would like to go into is either agriculture engineering or civil engineering. Any other thoughts you want to add? Uh, I'd just like to add that FFA is probably one of the best groups, per se, that I've ever been in. And the fact that it has made me who I am today. It's made me more of a leader than I've ever been in my life before. And FFA is probably the best thing that could have happened to me in my life.